Hi there! In this video, we are going to learn about how to select objects and geometry components. Although we already learned about geometry and its components, we didn't learn how to select them. As you can see, I am opening Houdini Apprentice version 18. The download and installation processes have not changed. To start learning, there is no difference. We could be doing this tutorial in version 17 or even 16 and you wouldn't notice the difference because the foundations are the same. Nevertheless, it's nice to have the latest version to explore the help content and learn about the new features. Ok, let's start with the lesson. To have something to work with, let's place two objects in the scene by using the shell tools. Control click on the box and on the sphere tool. Now, as the handle tool is active, move the sphere using the handles. Let's also hold the space and tap H to home all objects in the viewport. Hold the space, click the left mouse button and drag to rotate the view. Hold the space and scroll your middle mouse button to dolly in and hold the space Click on the middle mouse button and drag to pan the view. OK. In the toolbox, in the scene view, the first tool sets the selection mode to select objects, while the second tool sets the selection mode to select geometry components such as points, edges, primitives or vertices. At the moment, the handle tool is active. To select the box, click on the select tool and now you can click on the box to select it. The box is selected. Click on the sphere and the sphere is now selected. In the process, we lose our handle tool. To move the sphere again, click on the handle tool or use the shortcut Enter. Now move the sphere to test. If you want to keep working on any tool and temporarily use the selection tool, you have to hold the S key Let's do it. Hold the S key. Now click on the box. Release the S key. The box is selected and we are still in the handle tool. Tap the S key to change to the selection tool. Now let's explore the options in the operation controls bar. With the first option, box selection, you drag out a box and select what's inside the box. With the lasso selection, you drag a freeform shape and select what's inside the shape. With the brush selection, you select anything within the brush radius of the pointer. And with the laser selection, you select anything the mouse pointer specifically touches. To test the next option, let's put the sphere behind the box. Tap E to get the scale handles. Remember, you have the shortcuts E, R and T to select the transformation handle you need. Use the small box in the center to reduce the size of the object proportionally. Now let's rotate the view. Hold the space, click the left mouse button and drag to rotate the view to place the sphere behind the box. Tap S again to enter selection mode. Check the select visible geometry only option. Now make a box selection. If we rotate the view, we can see the sphere was not selected. Now uncheck the option. And repeat the selection. Let's rotate the view again. The sphere is now selected. The next option, Select Fully Contained Geometry Only, applies only to box and lasso modes, and it is also quite easy to understand. Let's check the option. Now, we can only make a selection if the geometry is fully inside the selected area. The next two options, Select materials and constraints are not relevant at the moment. To enter component selection mode, it is necessary to select an object first. Let's select the sphere instead of the box. 
Note that in object mode, the selection tool is a black arrow and in the network editor, we can check that our current context is objects. Now, to switch to components selection, click on the geometry selection mode. The selection tool is now a white arrow and we are at the geometry level inside the sphere object one. Besides, the box is represented as a ghost. Now is relevant to take a look at the visibility control of external objects on the top right of the scene view. At the moment, it is set as represent external objects like a ghost. You can also choose to hide other objects or to show all objects. Let's leave it as ghost other objects. The selection tool is already selected, so we can start selecting components. In the operation controls, we can select the type of component we need. Points, edges, primitives, or vertices. You can use the 2, 3, 4, or 5 key shortcuts to save time. Besides these options, we have the same options for object mode. Box select, lasso select, brush select, laser select, select visible geometry only, and select fully contained geometry only. Let's use point select. Now we can use box select to select points. If you want to add points to the selection, hold shift first. You can see a tiny plus sign next to the select arrow. Now you can select the additional points. If you want to subtract from the selection, hold Ctrl first. Now you see a tiny minus sign next to the select arrow. Select the points to be subtracted from the selection. And if you want to toggle the selection, hold Shift and Control and make the selection to toggle the points. Unselected points will be selected and selected points will be unselected. If the selection visible geometry only option is checked, only visible points will be selected. Let's try it. Select all the points. Now let's rotate the view with the space and left mouse button and we can check the back points are not selected. Click outside to deselect. Now uncheck the option. Repeat the selection and rotate the view. We can see the back points are also selected. Click outside to deselect. Usually we need to select a range or a loop of points. To do this, we use the A key in combination with the mouse buttons. Let's click on any point. To select a range, hold A and move your mouse pointer. Before left clicking, you can see a preview of the selected points. Left click to confirm the selection. Click again on any point. To select a loop, hold A and middle click on a point in the loop. To add another loop, hold Shift, then click on another point. Then, still holding Shift, now hold A and middle click on another point to add the new loop to the selection. Let's add another loop. Hold Shift, click on a point. Hold A and middle click on another point. Done. Now let's try the select edges option. Select an edge, then hold shift and you can add more edges to the selection. To select a range is similar to points. Click on an edge, hold A and then click on the last edge. To select a loop, just double click on any edge. Now to add another loop, 
hold shift and double click on another loop to add a new loop to the selection. Now let's try the select primitives option. Select a primitive, then hold shift and you can add more primitives to the selection. To select a range, select a primitive, then hold A and left click on the last primitive. To select a loop, click on a primitive, then hold A and middle click on another primitive in the loop. To add another loop, hold Shift, click on a primitive, then hold A and middle click on another primitive in the loop. Done. Ok, we have covered the basics of selecting objects and components. Thank you for watching this video, I'll see you soon in the next one.